Hey everybody, my name is Mike Hagan. I want to show you today the new May 2019 release of Lightroom Classic CC. There's a new texture slider option in here. I want to give you a quick preview of what that looks like, show you uh, the results on a couple of images, and then also show you how you can selectively apply the texture slider to maybe something like portraits or landscapes so that the whole the whole photo doesn't get uh, impacted by the texture slider. So let's go right into it. Let me show you where it is and how to use it. So the first thing here is uh, once you've updated to the new Lightroom Classic CC, in fact, let me just open this up here and show you. This is build 2019 May 6th, and then there's some other code, 1635. So again, this is the May 2019 build or the May 2019 version of Lightroom Classic. When you go into your develop panel, so I'm just gonna type the letter D, or I'm going to go up here and click on the develop, the develop panel. When you do that, you'll notice down here in the presence area, there's a, new, there's a new slider called texture. The whole purpose of that texture slider is to either accentuate texture. So for example, in the clouds, or maybe someone has a beard, and you wanna kind of accentuate the texture on the beard, maybe with some foreground elements in your landscape, landscape photo. So you can kind of sort of accentuate the texture. And then the other direction with the texture slider, it basically helps reduce texture, or I'll say increase smooth, smoothness. So it works great on skin. It works great on portraits to kind of selectively apply it to those areas. Another, thing, another point I wanna make here is that it's used to um, impact texture on medium-sized details in the photo. So not the really fine, minute, tiny stuff, and not the big, kind of larger sized things in your photo, the medium sized things in your photo. And I know that's a little bit squishy, a little bit ambiguous, but I think you'll see what, that, what it means here once we get to, uh, once we get to a photo. So uh, Adobe says that it's good for things, adjusting things like skin, tree bark, hair, I'm also thinking grass, flowers, those types of things. And it's available here in the, uh, in the basic panel. We can also use it in the brush panel here. Uh, I'm sorry, the brush tool. We can also use it here in the graduated filter tool. So, uh, oh, and I think also it works in the radial tool. I don't use the radial tool very much. I mostly use the um, selective brush tool and the gradient tool. Let me show you how I use it. I'm going to go here to the library pane, library panel, find some something in there with clouds. So we'll go here. I took this photo, oh, I don't know, maybe a year ago. This was at the University of Tennessee. So I'm gonna to go to the develop panel and I'll zoom in nice and close here in the sky so we can watch what happens. I'm going to go ahead and move the texture slider up to the right. And as I do that, you'll see a lot of texture uh, grittiness maybe appearing there in the clouds. If I move it back to zero, you see that's back to the normal state, move it to the right and there's the texture. So here we are adding texture to the screen, to the scene. Uh, you might think of this somewhat like, almost like a, an HDR-esque look. It kind of gives you uh, this crunchy look. Sometimes that's appealing, sometimes it's not. Keep in mind that when you are adjusting it here in what I'll call, or not what I'll call, but what is the basic panel, it's global, meaning it's applying to everything. And if I zoom out, I'm gonna zoom back out again, and I move that texture slider, you'll see everything, the grass in the foreground, the concrete, the building, everything gets more texture. Let's look at it on the other side. I'll move it now to the left, which is going to reduce texture. Or another way to think of it is increase smoothness. Move it here to the left, and you'll see now it almost looks like a painting. Everything is kind of blurry, almost like a watercolor or something like that. So that's what it looks like on a photo here with a lot of texture in it. Let's look at another image. This was uh, the Garden of the Gods. This is in Colorado. And if I increase the texture slider here, you'll see, um, especially in these trees here in the foreground, I'll move that left and right, you'll see it applies a lot of texture to those trees. So it can be a useful tool for uh, 
adding to the um, sharpness of the image, basically making the image look sharper overall. Now I wanna make a point here. Texture um, is in the presence panel and the presence panel is to sort of help your photo have a little bit more gravitas, a little more, well, presence. And there are other sliders here like clarity and like dehaze. Watch what happens when I move the dehaze slider. You'll see that works primarily on the, on the clouds. And the reason why is these clouds are sort of a, a, of a larger, a larger size in the photo. And so clarity, I'm sorry, dehaze works on these larger sized objects in the image, whereas texture works on the medium size. Let's go look at a portrait. We'll go to a person here. So here uh, I'm gonna actually zoom in to 50% or one to two, there we go. And now let's, let's move that texture slider up. I'll zero these both out. I'm gonna move the texture slider up and you'll see what it does to his skin. You see it brings out all kinds of details on the skin. And that's not, ne that's not necessarily something that you want as uh, either as the person receiving the photo or as a professional photographer. You don't always want the skin to have a ton of texture. So again, this is a global tool. It's a global adjustment and it's adjusting everything, including his shirt. Watch what happens when we go down here to a shirt. I move the texture slider up and that's okay for the shirt, but it's not okay for the skin. Let's go the other direction. Let's go left with the texture slider and you'll see it really smooths the skin, which can look okay, can look pretty good, especially on women. Um, but at the same time, it smooths out the details in the shirt and maybe I don't want that. So I wanna show you now how we can apply this texture tool um, locally. So I'm gonna zero it out here. I'm now going to go up here to my local brush. It's called the adjustment brush. You can also type the letter K and that's the keyboard shortcut. Now I'm gonna zero everything out. I'm gonna zero it out by double clicking the effect name or the effect uh, word here in the upper left of my brush tool. Now I'm going to go ahead and in, I'm sorry, decrease texture. So I'm just gonna bring texture down. Nothing happens until I start painting. So I'm gonna change the brush size by, by typing my uh, bracket key on my keyboard, left or right. So here we go, now I start painting on the face and you'll see I'm painting in less texture on his cheeks, which is cool. I can also paint in less texture here on his forehead. I'm gonna type the letter O for overlay so you can see where I've painted. That gives you a feel for what's being adjusted now. And now I'm going to adjust the slider that, now that I've done some painting until I'm happy with the softness on the skin. And uh, it looks like somewhere around minus 30 makes sense for this photograph. Let me show you what this looks like on a portrait of a female. So we'll go here. Here's another, eh, let's go to this one. There we go. And her skin is already pretty soft. Her skin is pretty nice overall. Let's just do a global texture adjustment. Remember, I'm back here on the basic panel. So if I go global texture, you'll see I bring out a lot of texture on the face. That is definitely not what I want. So again, I want to do it locally. So we'll pull up that adjustment brush here. We will zero everything out. I'll decrease texture and then I'll paint here on her skin just to give us a nicer, softer look overall. And just a little tip for you guys watching today, because I know a lot of you um, pay attention to portrait retouching. You generally want the lips to have a lot of texture and the skin to have less texture. So I'm actually going to add a new brush here for the lips and I'm going to zoom in here. Actually, let me zoom into 100% so we can see her lips. And now I'm this new brush, I'm actually gonna add some texture to her lips. There we go. That's cool. That's what we that's what we want. So, Texture is a great new product inside of the new version of Lightroom. I encourage you to try it out and to use it. Um, my general recommendation is that rather than doing a global texture, you do it locally. And you do it locally with that adjustment brush or you get to that adjustment brush inside the develop pane. It's in the upper right hand corner here 
or you can type the letter K and that will open the adjustment brush. So there you have it, the new texture command in Lightroom. Thanks for watching. I encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, if you like what you saw here today, give it a thumbs up. And then also, if you wanna be notified when we have new videos, we have new videos just about every single week, go ahead and click the bell button down below to be notified whenever the new stuff comes out. Have a great day, bye.